had a guitar and went ding, 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 ding. And I think... Didn't you pick up a bass? I think I played the bass line on the guitar. Oh, okay. But he came up with the Miss Murder thing as a throwaway lyric. We were writing in the Bay Area and it just like, it was such a drag and it was kind of just dragging. And so we, we relocated down here to Los Angeles and our a &R guy lived in Silver Lake and he had this basement and like Elliot Smith used to like play in there and stuff. So it had a little bit of a vibe to it. Dave and I flew down there and we just sit in that basement all day for days on end. And it was just in the middle of one of those days we were just I remember bored it. sitting there in the middle of the day. I had a guitar and I went ding, 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 ding. And I think, didn't you pick up a bass? I think I played the bass line on the guitar. Oh, okay. But he came up with the Miss Murder thing as a throwaway lyric. And it was kind of like, you know, when you write lyrics off the cuff, well, he, when he writes them, he'll do fake words or just like whatever comes to the top of his head. And he was going to change it to like what the real lyric would be. And I'm like, why don't you like keep that? That's, you know, that's kind of cool. And he was kind of like, uh, <laughs> Miss Murder, come on. And I'm like, oh, you know, it's got a thing. And so it probably would have been like uh, who, Starlight. It's certainly Stars or Stars and Hearts. Or something. Stars, stars and Hearts for and sure. So, like, yeah. So that's how that yeah, that's came that's about. true. I that's true. That that's what came first. And 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 Jade and and our friend Sammy were like, that's a good lyric. And so I wrote backwards rather than writing um, with a concept. I wrote with a task. <laughs> you know what I mean? Make this into a song. Make this lyric into a, a, a concept. Not you have a concept and express yourself. We almost left it off the record, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't think... I mean, I still don't think it's the best song on the record, but... Um, I know specifically when we, were when we were recording that record, Dave and I were just like, that's okay. It's fine. You know, we could, we could leave it off. I don't care. Like, you know, it could be on. Could be I off. was trying to get it off. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, take it off. Put the view from here on here. It's a better song. It's a better song. Yes, yeah, so that almost didn't make it on. But... Yeah, we probably wouldn't be sitting here if, we, if they, if they listened. <laughs> Up until Sing the Sorrow... We had success. We didn't really have success, and so everything was easy. There was no expectations on us, and just writing all that stuff was very simple and very organic. And after seeing the sorrow, it's like we got to follow up this record that went gold at that point and went platinum later. But at that point, it was like a very successful thing, and we were on Interscope now. <clears throat> and DreamWorks was a very kind of like carrying label, and it was almost like being on an indie. But Interscope was the biggest label in the world at that point, and you know we couldn't. We had to deliver something. And while we didn't want to sit there and try to write a hit because that never works, we felt like we have to do something great and we have to do something better than the last record. And so it just became, we worked really hard on it and a lot of times it didn't work and we became frustrated and we had to like stop and we had to start again. And like, Yeah, I remember a period where we had written a bunch of songs as we usually do and we were like, this is great. And we played them for, we played them for like Luke and I think, why do I want to say Butch? Butch wasn't around. Maybe it was Jerry. And they were like, these aren't great. I'm like, oh, they're not? And they weren't. <laughs> they weren't. They weren't great. Eventually, we wrote a, a bunch of good songs. Well, when we went back after we realized the first batch wasn't as great, we wrote Miss Murder, Summer Shutter, Missing Frame. We wrote a lot of songs that ended up being some of the better songs on the record. So it was helpful. Even though it was painful for us and, we, you know, it took a long time to do that and it was, you know, we had to really gut it out, um, it ended up being a better record. And we went <clears throat> with Jerry Finn up to this farm in Northern California oh, to do pre-production. Oh, the they wanted us to go stay on this, this shabby farm and it was such a bummer and it was like... Our A&R &R guy just <laughs> had this fantasy from all the old rock records of people immersing. going to the south of France or going to Jamaica and immersing and just getting away and we're not those, we're not those people. Plus it's like, you know, when they made Exile on Main Street and then a chateau in France, that was his idea, but he's like, how about a shabby farm in Katati? With cat hair everywhere. And chickens. <laughs> you know, if you would have put us in a chateau, maybe that would have worked. So and spiders. Yes, yeah, so we did. But we really it. dug in on that <laughs> and started and honing the songs with Jerry. And that's part of what, you know, and the songs really started to take shape and actually become a record and it started being fun instead of just like mm -hmm. painful. I remember we got to the uh, to the farm and our A and R guy, who we really respected, really wanted us to stay there every night. And so We'd rehearse all day, and then we'd sit around, and then 
once he finally got in his car and left for the day, we'd all jump in our cars, and drive back, back to, to the Bay Area, yeah. and then wake up in the morning really early and drive all the way back to Katadi. I remember when we pulled up, and none of us wanted to do it in the first place, and I got lost, and I pulled into a gas station, and there was a chicken at the gas station. <laughs> Just walking through the gas station. I wanted to turn around and go back home. 